All right, you're here because you didn't buy enough toilet paper. I'm kidding. You're here to boost your immune system. Here we're gonna do some bioenergetic exercises. So we're looking at not just exercises that strengthen our muscles or some of these aesthetic fitness goals, but exercises that really take care of our health, our internal organs, our biology, and our mind, body, energy. So this is all based on Qigong. Qigong means energy work in Chinese. It's a very ancient practice, goes back thousands of years. So old, people didn't even write it down when they invented it. So we don't even quite know how old it is. People are always arguing. If you ask most, some Qigong masters, they say, oh, Qigong, it's 100,000 years old. You know, they, everybody wants to say it's older than it really is, but it's pretty old. People have been doing it for a long time to take care of their health. It's sort of in a package alongside acupuncture and herbology and some other uh, medicines that came out of China. And it's all about maintaining your health, preventing illness, and when necessary, healing illness. So this routine, we're gonna boost our immune system, what in the Chinese medicine they call the Wei Qi, or the, the protective energy. Wei means outside, Qi means energy. So it's your energy that comes to the surface of your body and protects you, right? So our immune system needs energy, just like every other cell in our body. So here we're gonna to try to direct that energy to the surface, to the immunity, okay? So let's get started. So let's find our feet shoulder width apart, knees soft, and we're just gonna start with a little deep breathing. So just bring your hands over your belly and start taking some deep breaths in through the nose, and if you can, also out through the nose. And just feel your belly moving with your breath like you have a balloon down there. In through the nose, out through the nose. This is meant to be relaxing. So instead of our attention and energy being up in our head and our thoughts or at our heart and emotions, we're dropping down to our gut where we feel centered, calm, and stable. Just a couple more deep breaths here. And just FYI, this routine is for if you're not sick and you're trying to prevent illness, or if you're just starting to notice that you're becoming sick, especially in upper respiratory uh, symptoms, this would be sort of the preventative routine to kind of push away the illness. If you're Already, that illness has gone deeper into the lungs, <clears throat> or any illness has gone deeper. There's another routine I'm gonna, you'll find a link to here that would be for you to do then. Okay, so this is our preventative routine. Let's take one hand up to the chest, and here we're gonna do wave breathing. So let your breath rise up to your chest as you inhale, and exhale, let the breath empty from the chest, the ribs, the belly. So inhale, breath, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Good, so nice and easy, I'll just show you from the side. There's a rising breath on the inhale, and a descending breath on the exhale. And just do this to really fill up the lungs. <sighs> and the capacity of your lungs, stretch through your ribs and chest. Good, bring your hands down, interlace your fingers. Same thing, just a little movement. We press up with the hands, inhaling. And then exhale out to the sides. You can exhale through your mouth. Interlace fingers, inhale. Nice deep breath, fill up the ribs, stretch, and exhale. Good, just a few more, just opening the lungs. Good. So we want to energize our lungs, open our breath. In Chinese medicine, we have different meridians, different acupuncture channels. Each one flows to a different organ and is responsible for different sort of layers of your energy. So in Chinese medicine, the lung meridian, which goes through the arm and up to the chest and lungs, is partly responsible for your breath and partly responsible for your immunity. Okay, let's come up one more time. Exhale out. Very good. This next one we're gonna do is to start to warm up the body. So bring your hands up. This one's called the pump. I'm just turning so you can see better. Here we swing the arms back, swing the arms up. Drop and swing, drop and swing. 
We inhale up, exhale drop. And you can see I'm bouncing in my knees. My arms are relaxed. Most of the motion is coming from the legs and hips. I do a little bounce, little bounce. This one's good for low back pain and also opens the lungs. So as you come up, inhale, opening the lungs, exhale, push out any stale breath. Now we're gonna add a little bit to this. We're gonna come up, make light fists and knock on the lungs. Hands come out and back. They come up, knock, and back. Hopefully this doesn't mess with my lavalier mic too much. This one's to stimulate the acupoints just below the collarbone that are to energize the lungs and immune system. So again, you're gonna inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now feel free to do this very lightly if your chest feels sensitive. You're even welcome to do this with an open palm if that feels better. Just two more. And relax. Good, so one thing we wanna do is warm the body up because that heat helps take the energy that's kinda of stuck inside, the warmth and energy, and push it out to the extremities to push away what we call in Qigong the pathogenic chi. So let's keep warming the body up. Let's take our legs a little wider. This one is called the archer draws the bow and releases the arrow to shoot the golden eagle. It's kind of a mouthful. We're gonna make fists. Bring the elbows and fists together, the forearms together. You're kind of rotating the fists towards each other, back of the fists. Our stance is wide, our toes are a little bit turned out to protect the knees and hips. We're gonna sink the hips down and come up. So this is the lower body movement. We just sink down, come up. It's like a very wide leg squat. Then we're gonna add the drawing of the bow. So we draw the bow, one hand pulls back by the shoulder, the other hand you make this L shape with your hand. So three fingers folded, two fingers extended. And as we do this, we sink. So we come up, two fists, cross the wrists, draw the bow, make an L shape with the one hand and come up, two fists. So feel free to just kind of choose for yourself. You might have a little narrower stance and only come down a little bit. If you got arthritis or something in the hips, feel free to just do this, nice and gentle. If you really want some heat and some challenge, try to get your thighs parallel to the floor and actually try to generate a little stretch through the upper body as we draw the bow. Inhale up. Exhale, sink, inhale up, exhale, sink, inhale up. Nice deep breaths. This is a very popular Qigong exercise from a set called the Eight Brocades, which you might have seen, if you're into Qigong, you might have seen the videos of doctors in Wuhan teaching this during the Wuhan pandemic. Doctors teaching this to patients in the hospital with coronavirus. Good, just one more each side. Bring it up, drop your hands, bring your feet in a bit, shake it out. Very good. <clears throat> one more to really heat up the body. This one's called the tiger. So we're gonna take our feet a little wider again. This time, instead of going up and down, we just kind of hold down. Again, feel free, it's kind of choose your own adventure how low you want to go. You might make it a little easier, just squat down a little bit. That's all you can handle. The full posture, we come down, thighs parallel to the floor. Now let's come up for a second, and let's just make sure we get the upper body motion before we add the challenge of the legs. So you're gonna make paws with your hands. These are, sometimes we do tiger claw in Qigong, sometimes we do tiger paw. So here all the fingers are folded except for the first knuckle, okay? Looks a bit like a paw. We're gonna press with those paws forward, like we're pushing against a stone. Then we're gonna turn the paws towards us, pull back, and open the chest. Show you from the side. 
The next one we push backwards. And as we push backwards, make sure it's like you have paws that are against an object and you're pushing back. So it's not your kind of fingers going back. It's like a push, okay? So you flex your wrists, come around by the shoulders, open the chest, and again we push forward, okay? So we're gonna do this in our stance. <clears throat> Drop your hips down. Choose your own adventure, how low you want to go. Take a deep breath in. We're going to exhale with a little growl. Slightly raspy exhale. Hold the breath out for one second. And then inhale. Hold the breath in, open the chest, open the lungs. And exhale, push backwards, a little growl. Hold the breath out for a second. And then inhale. So here, training the breath, little breath hold. Hold, and exhale. A little tiger growl, hold the breath out, and inhale. Hold the lungs open, breath in. Exhale, push back. Hold the breath out, I know this one's kind of torture. Inhale. Hold for a second, then exhale. Just one more to go. Inhale. And pushing back, exhale. This is our last one. Inhale. And push yourself up. Oof. Very good, step it in, shake it out. <sighs> Very good. I should have got a little more heat building through the body. Get that yang energy building up. We'll do one more to warm things up. This one for the upper body. We're gonna drop and swing. This is called counter swing. We come up, drop and swing. I'll show you from behind. Drop and swing, up. Drop and swing. So one hand goes behind the back, the other hand like you're throwing a softball or a bowling ball. You can hear I'm doing this sighing breath. This breath is meant to be cleansing. And just think about your shoulders here being relaxed. You can see I bounce my knees a little bit, I turn my core. So it's mostly the lower body and core doing the effort. My shoulders are relaxed. This one to clear tension from the upper body, improve circulation, and clear stress. Clear patterns of stress. Stress we usually think of in our brain or in our mind, but stress is all throughout our body. It's the tension we carry in our muscles. It's the emotions we feel in our organs. So here we use movement of the body to clear stress from the body, and the result is a more clear, calm mind. Good, slow this one down. <clears throat> Very good. Gather a chi ball. Hold this ball in front of your belly, so a ball of sort of your awareness here. We have the awareness between the hands. This is going to be a stretch called the owl turns its head. So here we're going to open palms out to the sides. Your thumbs spiral behind you. I don't know if you can see that, thumbs turning behind, palms turn outwards, and the fingers are pulling down. So the hands aren't out to the sides, they're pulling down. Okay? Come back in, chi ball. Spiral open the hands, and this time turn your chin over one shoulder. And try to turn it enough that you feel a stretch from your thumb up your bicep into the neck as we turn the head. Come back to the center, relax, and open up. Turn the head the other way. Look for that stretch from the neck down to the thumb. Relax to the center. Exhale. Inhale, open up. Exhale to the center. Inhale, open up. I breathe out your mouth again. Think of breathing out your mouth as releasing, letting go of patterns of energy from your nervous system and your muscles. Very 
look for that stretch here. We're actually stretching the lung meridian, the lung acupuncture channel. This goes from the collarbone down to the thumb. This one also really good for neck and shoulder pain. And good for clearing stress, the deep breathing. Come to one side and hold just for one or two breaths. Come to the center. Open up and hold. Come to the center and shake your arms out. Very good. <clears throat> All right, next one. Open the arms to the sky, palms face up. We're going to open the chest, kind of lift the chest towards the sky. Look to the sky and imagine that the sky is full of white light, as though the sky were full of sparkling white clouds. So there's infinite sea of white light above us. We're going to gather that imaginary white light with one hand form the crane's beak with the hand and touch the tip of the beak right under your collarbone near where it meets the shoulder. There's a little pocket there. Other hand, imagine you gather this white light, make the crane's beak, touch it here in that pocket. These are the first points on the lung channel. Now we're going to take a big breath in. As we exhale, we're going to make the sound of the letter Z and tap. healing sound for the lungs in Qigong. Then we're going to force a cough. So big breath in, clear out your lungs. <coughs> ah, good. We'll do that one again. Open up. Gather white light. Imagine like your fingers shoot it like a laser beam into those lung points. Take a deep breath in, making the sound, imagining smoke clearing out of the lungs as we exhale. Take a big breath in and force a cough, clear out your lungs. <coughs> Very good. In Qigong, we do everything in threes. Open your chest. Imagine you're collecting white light. Big breath in. Last time. Inhale and force a cough to clear the lungs. <coughs> Drop it down, shake it out, and actually just start to bounce and shake in your whole body. Nice deep breath in, and exhale out your mouth. Again, just using a sigh, like a cleansing breath. Clear out old patterns from the muscles, nervous system. Let's get our energy system nice and open. Now, if this feels comfortable, you can lift your heels, knock the heels into the floor. Get all the bones to vibrate, stimulate the bone marrow. Your bone marrow is where a lot of your immune system cells are produced. So here we actually produce electricity in the bones and you vibrate bones. Piezoelectric charge is built in the collagen. And your cells love those free electrons. They power up the mitochondria. And you combine them with oxygen. Nice deep breath in. Get the whole body buzzing and vibrating, alive with chi. We stimulate our yang, our active energy. Good, slow it down, pause, and feel your chi. Feel the body buzzing. You might feel that electric charge, this little vibration throughout the body. You say the yang energy in the body behaves like electricity, the yin behaves like magnetism or gravity. 
So here, feel that yang that pushes energy to the surface, vibrates and dissolves anything stuck. Good. From here, a little more nourishing of the yin. Palms face up, we lift up to shoulder height. Palms turn down, float the hands down. I'll show you from the side. Palms face up, lift up shoulder height. Find your weight more in your toes here. And as we float the hands down, find your weight more in your heels. I'm gonna inhale, weight up into the toes. Keep your heels on the floor though. Exhale, weight back into the heels, but make sure your toes don't come up. So just a very subtle weight shift, standing a little taller, sinking a little down. Inhaling up, ideally through the nose. It's okay through the mouth though, it's not the end of the world. But we try to keep our attention and energy inside by keeping the mouth closed, if you can. Let's see if we can really do that. Keep our attention inside, attention on your body. Just notice the pure sensation of the movement of your hands through space, the soft flow of your breath. The mind can be a bit of a time traveler. Imagination can produce images of the past predictions of the future, but our body is always in the present. So in Qigong we train our mind to focus on the body in order to ground into the present. When the mind and the body come together, the attention comes into the body. It's that combination of yin and yang, like the polarities that create lightning. Mind and body together create qi. life force energy. Let's bring the hands all the way up. Come down by your chest. Here we're going to push forward and sink into just a little half squat. Turn your palms down. Imagine your arms like the wings of a crane. And the crane lifts on rising air. And then lowers the wings. The wind glides through the feathers. It's like there's a little resistance in the air. We come up, inhale. Exhale, push from the chest, sink down slightly in the hips. Inhale, feel the chi or the breath lift you. Exhale, float down like you're combing through an energy field. The crane's wings comb through the air. We collect energy. And here, we move it through the lungs. We inhale, the energy lifts us like the lungs become buoyant, filled with energy. And exhale, floating down. Inhale up. Exhale, push. Inhale, lifted by energy, lifted by breath. Exhale, down. You might imagine you're standing on a mountaintop surrounded by sparkling white clouds, sunlight reflecting off a sea of clouds. And if you just inhale and breathe in the white light shining off the clouds, sparkling through the water droplets. Moving that white light through the lungs. Now bring your hands into the chest. We're going to draw the bow again, this time very gently. So no lower body movement this time, just maybe a tiny sinking. I'm just standing a little bit taller. But this time as we do it, don't close your fist. So 
we inhale to the chest. Exhale very gently, drawing the bow. Inhale to the chest. Exhale very gently, draw the bow. So the hands stay very loose and relaxed. You don't want any sensation of stretching or tightening in the muscles. Stay in super easy range of motion. And again, just let it be a meditation on the body. Feel your body as it moves, feel your breath. And totally optional, visualizing this white light from a sea of clouds. We pull into the lungs, energizing the lungs, strengthening the Wei Qi, the guardian energy of the immune system. Come in, send your hands out, and then one last one for the lungs. We're going to touch the thumb and first finger, sink the chest back, turn the palms down, open the hands, open the chest. This one's called the white crane soaring. We exhale, sink the chest back a little bit, and inhale, open and lift the chest. Exhale, sink back a little bit. And at the beginning, sometimes these can be a little tough on the shoulders. You might feel kind of burning in your shoulders. So feel free at any point to just take a break, relax, rest your arms by your side. You can also do this one with the hands a little lower if that feels better. And here we seal the lung channel. And open the channel, breathe in the chi. Again, you might imagine these white clouds are breathing in the white light. And then we seal that energy into the lung channel, into the lungs. Inhale, breathe in the white light. Exhale, seal it in. Mm, slow and relaxing. One of the best things we can do for our immunity is just lower stress. We lose our stress by becoming present, slowing down. Do one more time. Bring the hands in to our posture. A little standing meditation posture. Here we have the thumb and first finger still touching. The other three fingers are pointing towards each other. And the arms are round like we're holding a ball. The arms are like a hoop. The elbows aren't against your ribs. They float out a little bit without being too tense. Here we're just going to take some deep breaths. Make sure your feet are still square under the shoulders. The knees are soft. They're not locked. They're not too bent. They're just a little tiny bit soft. And the tailbone. We just tuck it under a little bit to lengthen the spine. We lift our crown a little bit to lengthen the neck. We'll just hold here, breathing deeply. Again, see if you can feel your breath all the way down to your belly. It's letting our mind, our attention fully inhabit our body. Feel your breath, feel your body. Try not to fidget here too much. And these postures are sometimes called zhanzhuan, or standing like a tree. So just like a tree, just sort of passively allows the nutrients and energy it needs to come to it. That's what we're doing here. We hold the body open in such a way that it invites chi to fill up through the body. It's almost like we're holding the fascia, the 
The connective tissues open like a sail on a sailboat to catch the wind. Just a few more deep breaths. In the beginning, this might be uncomfortable. You might take a break in the middle. I'll try to hold this the whole time. And gradually, over time, it will feel not just comfortable, but very pleasant as the chi builds. Again, just imagine you're standing on that mountain top, surrounded by a sea of white clouds. And like all the pores of your skin open up and you just breathe in that white light. The whole body fills with this radiant white light. It goes all the way to your bone marrow, fills your bones, it surrounds your whole body, energizes your whole body. Slowly, we'll release. We'll just do one movement to circulate the energy we've collected. Here, we just move the hands like we're turning a wheel in front of the body. And we just do a slight weight shift. Am I doing this right? Yeah. We shift the weight towards the foot that the hand, hand going forward, we shift the weight to that side. But as the weight shifts, we don't turn the upper body and do this. The wheel stays right where it is in space. We shift the weight, and if it feels comfortable, you can even lift the heel of the opposite foot. Just like this, lifting the heel up. And this just helps to pump the energy through the body using the legs, circulate the energy using the arms. Just make sure the energy we've collected doesn't sort of stagnate in any one place. It is able to circulate freely through the body. Just take a few deep breaths. They don't have to, breath doesn't have to match this movement. Make the movement slow and mindful. Feel your whole body cohesive and interconnected. Nice and relaxing. And just turn that wheel into a ball. Bring that ball into your lower abdomen. Bring your feet together. We'll end in this posture we call bamboo in the wind. We're just going to let our knees be soft, shoulders relax down. Feel like the crown of your head is invited up to the sky. And again, imagine the sky full of white light, like that light is pulling you up by the crown. Like your feet have roots into the earth, you feel stretched between heaven and earth. Just let your whole body relax into this so much that you rock and sway. Just like a stalk of bamboo, strong but flexible, yielding to the breeze. Rock and sway. And again, this just allows the energy to circulate, to flow through the body. Just three or four last deep breaths here. Surrender and relax. And step your feet out. Circle your belly. And then the extra chi we store here in Qigong we call the lower dantian. 
Nice deep breath in. Release with a sigh. <sighs> Very good. All right, I hope you feel good. Qigong works best when you do it every day, but even if you just do this routine once or twice a week, you're still gonna get some benefit. I'll post some studies in the description below about how Qigong affects the immune system. There's so much mechanisms that we know that we've studied, like it increases the number of natural killer cells and white blood cells, increases the cytotoxicity of your natural killer cells, so they have more power to kill pathogens. So there's so much good that Qigong does for you, but at the very least, lowers your stress. And low stress means good things for all aspects of your health. So thank you, thank you, thank yourself for practicing and hope to see you again soon. Hey, if you found this video helpful, you can head on over to nickloffery.com. Also, you can help support the channel by liking, subscribing. Those are all the things, right? Commenting. And that'll help us keep producing all this cool free content for you. All right. Thanks so much. nickloffery.com.